Hello everyone, welcome to the new session of Integrals. My name is Kavita S. Nair, Faculty of Silverless Public School, Kodi Code Handling Mathematics, Class 12. In the previous session, we discussed integrals of the type 1 by quadratic, 1 by root of quadratic, linear by quadratic and linear by root of quadratic. In this session, we will discuss integrals integration by partial fraction. Why we apply partial fraction? We apply partial fraction to make the integration simpler. When the integrand is given in the form of a proper rational function, we make it into sum of simple rational functions called partial fractions. What do you mean by a proper rational function? When the degree of numerator is less than that of the denominator, it is called proper rational function. If it is more or equal, then we have to do long division, then make to proper, then we can apply partial fraction. Okay. Now, there are partial fraction, how, when to apply, to which forms we should apply. Let us see it one by one. Look the first one. Form of a rational function, the integrand will be of this type, px plus q divided by two different factors. Here a and b are different. If the integrand is of this form, then we will make it into simpler forms like this a by x minus a plus b by x minus b. Here a and b are real numbers. When we do the problem, we will understand how to find the values of a and b. Integral dx divided by x plus 1, x plus 2. Here a and b are different. It takes the value 1 and 2. Now let us see how to do. Take the integrand that is 1 divided by x plus 1 into x plus 2. We can write this as capital A divided by x plus 1 plus B divided by x plus 2. Now, to simplify this, we will take the LCM both sides. So, let us take the LCM in right side. So, it will become A into x plus 2 plus B into x plus 1 divided by x plus 1 into x plus 2. Left side no change it is 1 by x plus 1 into x plus 2. Since the denominators are same in both sides we can eliminate them and equating numerators 1 equal to a into x plus 2 plus b into x plus 1. Now, to find the values of a and b, we can give one among the factors, each of them, 0. The value we will get for x, we will substitute, so that one among a and b will be eliminated and we will get the value of the other constant. So, let us put x plus 1 equal to 0, means x equal to minus 1. So, LHS in this equation 1 equal to when you put x plus 1 equal to 0 automatically b will become 0 then the remaining a into minus 1 plus 2 minus 1 plus 2 is 1 so from this we get the value of a as 1 now now let us give the other one x plus 2 equal to 0 so x plus 2 equal to 0 means we will get x equal to minus 2. Putting, substituting here, 1 equal to, when you give x plus 2 0, a will be 0. So, you will get b into minus 2 plus 1. That means minus b. So, you will get value of b as minus 1. Now, we got the values of a and b. Therefore, when we substitute here, we will get 1 divided by x plus 1 plus minus 1 divided by x plus 2. The value of this integrand 
we got simpler form now we will do the integration in the next one integral dx divided by x plus 1 into x plus 2 will be equal to integral of 1 by x plus 1 plus minus 1 divided by x plus 2 into dx. Now we can split it into two integrands equal to integral 1 by x plus 1 dx minus integral 1 by x plus 2 dx which will be equal to what is integral 1 by x? It is log x. So, what will be integral 1 by x plus 1? It will be logarithm of x plus 1. So, logarithm of mod x plus 1 minus logarithm of mod x plus 2 plus the constant c. Now, we can combine this to logarithm of x plus 1 by x plus 2 plus c. This is the final answer. Now, let us do another example of same type. Integral 2x divided by x square plus 3x plus 2. First, we have to make the denominator into factors equal to integral 2x divided by x plus 1 into x plus 2 dx. The sum of 1 and 2 is 3 and product is 2. We will make it into factors and we are getting accordingly. Now we will take the integrand and simplify. 2x divided by x plus 1 into x plus 2 equal to a divided by the first factor x plus 1 plus b divided by the second factor x plus 2. As before, we will take the LCM so that numerators will become different and denominators will become same. So, equating when the denominators are same, we can cancel them both sides. So, equating numerators 2x equal to a into x plus 2 plus b into x plus 1. We will give x plus 1 equal to 0. x plus 1 equal to 0 implies x equal to minus 1. Substituting in LHS, 2 into minus 1 giving x plus 1 equal to 0 b into x plus 1 will become 0. So, a into minus 1 plus 2. So, you will get minus 2 equal to a into 1 or the value of a as minus 2. Now, we will give x plus 2 equal to 0. x plus 2 equal to 0 means x equal to minus 2. So, substituting in this equation, 2 into minus 2 equal to, when you put x plus 2 equal to 0, a will vanish. You will get the value of b. b into minus 2 plus 1. So, 2 into minus 2 gives minus 4 equal to b into minus 2 plus 1 minus b. So, you will get the value of b equal to 4. Now, the value of a and b we will substitute respectively. So, you will get minus 2 divided by x plus 1 plus value of b 4 divided by x plus 2. Now, we will do integration. In the place of this integrand, we will substitute these two simple factors, simple rational functions and do integration. 
integral 2x divided by x square plus 3x plus 2 dx will be equal to integral of minus 2 divided by x plus 1 plus 4 divided by x plus 2 dx. Now we will split this into two integrands equal to taking the constant outside minus 2 integral 1 by x plus 1 dx. Again 4 is constant 4 into integral 1 by x plus 2 dx. So as previously I said 1 by x integral 1 by x is log x. So here comes minus 2 logarithm of mod x plus 1 plus 4 into logarithm of mod x plus 2 plus the constant c. The final answer. Now let us see the next form of rational function. It is px plus q divided by x minus a whole square. Here the factor x minus a is repeated twice. So the form of partial fraction will be a divided by x minus a plus b divided by x minus a whole square. Let us do one example to make it more clear. 3x minus 1 by x plus 2 whole square. Let us take the integrand 3x minus 1 divided by x plus 2 whole square equal to constant a divided by x plus 2 plus b divided by x plus 2 whole square. As previous we will take LCM. So 3x minus 1 divided by x plus 2 whole square equal to a into x plus 2 plus b divided by x plus 2 whole square. The denominators being same, we can equate numerators. So 3x minus 1 equal to a into x plus 2 plus b. Here the same factor is repeated. So we can give that x plus 2 equal to 0. Putting x plus 2 equal to 0, we get x equal to minus 2. Substituting minus 2, LHS, 3 into minus 2 minus 1 equal to, when we give x plus 2 equal to 0, a will become 0 automatically, you will get the value of b. That means, 3 into minus 2 minus 6 minus 1 equal to b or you will get the value of b as minus 7. Now since the only factor we equated to 0, we can equate coefficients of x both sides of this equation. The LHS coefficient of x is 3. So, we are going to equate, equating coefficient of x both sides. 3 into 3 left side equal to a in the right side. Very easily we got the value of a. Now the value of a and b we will substitute here. So equal to 3 divided by x plus 2 then value of b minus 7 divided by x plus 2 whole square. Now we will substitute in the integral and find the integral easily. Value of a is 3 and b is minus 7. Integral 3x minus 1 divided by x plus 2 whole square dx equal to 
integral value of a 3 divided by x plus 2 plus value of b minus 7 divided by x plus 2 whole square dx. We can split it into two integrands and taking constants outside 3 into integral 1 by x plus 2 dx taking minus 7 outside minus 7 into integral 1 by x plus 2 whole square dx. This part is easy as we did previously it is log x plus 2 so equal to 3 into logarithm of x plus 2 minus 7 into here you can see integral 1 by x plus 2 whole square. Let us put x plus 2 equal to t. So we will get differentiating with respect to x we will get 1 equal to dt divided by dx or dx is equal to dt. So substituting this we get integral dt divided by t square. So equal to 3 into log x plus 2 minus 7 integral t raised to minus 2 dt which is 3 log x plus 2 minus 7 integral t raised to minus 2 is t raised to minus 2 plus 1 by minus 2 plus 1 plus constant which will be 3 log x plus 2 from here a negative comes the negative and this negative becomes positive plus 7 then t raised to minus 1 that means 1 by t what was t x plus 2 so 7 divided by x plus 2 plus c the final answer now let us do a similar example integral 3 sin theta minus 2 cos theta divided by 5 minus cos square theta minus 4 sin theta d theta it's a trigonometric function we can see cos theta d theta it is the derivative of sin theta so let us give first sin theta equal to t and make it into a rational form let us see how it is equal to integral 3 sin theta minus 2 cos theta divided by 5 minus cos square theta is 1 minus sin square theta. We are changing to sin theta completely except this one because we are going to substitute sin theta equal to t. 1 minus sin square theta minus 4 sin theta d theta equal to integral 3 sin theta minus 2 into cos theta d theta divided by here comes minus minus plus sin square theta sin square theta minus 4 sin theta then comes 5 minus 1 4. Now let us give sin theta equal to t sin theta equal to t so differentiating with respect to theta cos theta will be equal to dt by d theta or cos theta d theta can be written as dt equal to integral 3 t minus 2 divided by t square minus 4 t plus 4 into dt. The denominator we can write as 
t minus 2 whole square equal to integral 3t minus 2 divided by t minus 2 whole square dt. Now, now it became to the form of partial fraction. Now, let us see how to make it into partial fraction and get the constants. 3t minus 2 divided by t minus 2 whole square can be written as a divided by t minus 2 plus b divided by t minus 2 whole square. Taking LCM as previous. So, and equating the numerators, we will get 3t minus 2 equal to a into t minus 2 plus b. Now, we will put the factor t minus 2 equal to 0. t minus 2 equal to 0 gives t equal to 2. Substituting in the LHS, 3 into 2 minus 2 equal to, when t minus 2 equal to 0, a will be 0. So, equal to b. 3 into 2, 6. 6 minus 2, 4. You will get the value of b as 4. Now, equating coefficient of t both sides you will get equating coefficient of t both sides. We get 3 equal to a. So, we got the value of a as 3 and b equal to 4. Now, we will substitute in the integrand all these values and find the integration. Therefore, integral 3 sin theta minus 2 into cos theta d theta divided by phi minus cos square theta minus 4 sin theta equal to integral 3 divided by t minus 2 plus 4 divided by t minus 2 whole square dt. Now, let us split the integral into 2 equal to integral 3 divided by t minus 2 dt plus 4 into integral 1 by t minus 2 whole square dt. As previous 1 by t is log t. So, 3 log t minus 2 plus 4 now let us substitute t minus 2 equal to u. t minus 2 equal to u. Differentiating with respect to t, 1 equal to du by dt or dt equal to du. 4 into integral u raised to minus 2 du which will be equal to 3 log t minus 2 plus 4 into u raised to minus 2 plus 1 by minus 2 plus 1 plus c equal to 3 log t minus 2 then comes here minus 2 plus 1 minus 1. So, minus 4 u raised to minus 2 plus 1 is 1 by u. So, 4 divided by u plus c. Now, what was u? t minus 2 equal to 3 log t 
t minus 2 minus 4 divided by instead of u t minus 2 t minus 2 plus c now what was t sin theta equal to 3 log sin theta minus 2 minus taking here plus 4 divided by 2 minus sin theta plus c this is a final answer now let us see the form of rational function if it is of the form px square plus qx plus r divided by three distinct factors if it is so we will write a divided by the first factor plus b divided by second factor plus c divided by third factor and values of a b c we will find as we did in the previous problems let us do one example of that type integral 3x minus 1 divided by x minus 1 into x minus 2 into x minus 3 three distinct factors let us take the integrand 3x minus 1 divided by x minus 1 into x minus 2 into x minus 3 equal to a divided by x minus 1 plus b divided by x minus 2 plus c divided by x minus 3. As previously, we will take LCM both sides. So, 3x minus 1 divided by x minus 1 into x minus 2 into x minus 3 equal to a into other than x minus 1, the remaining 2. That is x minus 2 into x minus 3 plus b into the remaining 2, x minus 1 into x minus 3 and plus c into the remaining 2 except x minus 3, x minus 1 into x minus 2 whole divided by x minus 1 into x minus 2 into x minus 3. Now, denominators are same. So, we will equate the numerators 3x minus 1 equal to a into x minus 2 into x minus 3 plus b into x minus 1 into x minus 3 plus c into x minus 1 into x minus 2. Now, let us give the factors 1 by 1 equal to 0. First one x minus 1 equal to 0 that is x minus 1 equal to 0 means x equal to 1 giving LHS 3 into 1 minus 1 equal to where you see x minus 1 automatically that part will become 0. So, x minus 1 comes in B with the C also. So, both will become 0 you will get only A into 1 minus 2 1 minus 3 from this we get 3 into 1 3 minus 1 2 2 equal to here comes 1 minus 1 comes here here minus 2 comes minus 1 into minus 2 positive 2 so 2a so from this we get the value a equal to 1 now we will give x minus 2 equal to 0. x minus 2 equal to 0 means x equal to 2. <laughs> Substituting in LHS, 3 into 2 minus 1 mean equal to where you got x minus 2 as a factor. That means wherever you are seeing x minus 2 with a with c so both will become 0 you will get only b into b into 2 minus 1 and 2 minus 3 the meaning 3 into 2 6 6 minus 1 makes 5 5 equal to 2 minus 1 is 1 2 minus 3 is minus 1 so you will get minus b 
or value of b is equal to minus 5. Now the last one the value of c. So giving x minus 3 equal to 0 we get x equal to 3 substituting LHS 3 into 3 minus 1 equal to where you see x minus 3 with a with b so both will become 0 only in the last term c into 3 minus 1 and 3 minus 2 so you will get 3 into 3 9 9 minus 1 that means 8 8 equal to 3 minus 1 2 and 3 minus 2 here 1 and 3 minus 1 is 2 so 2 into 1 makes 2c so c equal to 4 so you got the values 1 minus 5 and 4 these values we will substitute in the integrand and simplify integral 3x minus 1 divided by x minus 1 into x minus 2 into x minus 3 dx equal to integral of 1 divided by x minus 1 minus 5 divided by x minus 2 then comes the last one 4 divided by x minus 3 dx. Now we can split this into 3 integrands equal to integral 1 by x minus 1 dx constant and minus 5 taking outside 1 by x minus 2 dx plus 4 into integral 1 by x minus 3 dx equal to it is logarithm each of them. So logarithm of mod x minus 1 minus 5 logarithm of x minus 2 plus 4 logarithm of x minus 3 plus c the final answer. Now let us do an example of similar kind integral 2x minus 3 divided by x square minus 1 into 2x plus 3. This x square minus 1 we can split again into two factors equal to integral 2x minus 3 divided by this is a plus b into a minus b. So x plus 1 into x minus 1 into 2x plus 3 dx. Let us take the integrand 2x minus 3 divided by x plus 1 into x minus 1 into 2x plus 3 equal to a divided by x plus 1 plus b divided by x minus 1 plus c divided by 2x plus 3. As previous we will take the LCM both sides. The LCM will be equal in left side and right side. So we will eliminate that part and equate the numerators. 2x minus 3 equal to a into other than x plus 1 the remaining factors x minus 1 into 2x plus 3 plus b into other than x minus 1 the remaining factors x plus 1 into 2x plus 3 then other than for c other than x plus 1 and x minus 1 x minus 1 into x plus 1. So, now as we can see three different factors, we can give one by one the factors equal to 0. Put x plus 1 equal to 0. The meaning x equal to minus 1. 
So, in the LHS, 2 into minus 1 minus 3 equal to, where was x plus 1, that part will become 0. x plus 1 is here, x plus 1 is with C. So, only A will be there. A into comes minus 1 minus 1. Second factor 2 into minus 1 plus 3. Now, 2 into minus 1 minus 2 minus 3. So, from here we can write minus 5 equal to A into then comes minus 2 the second part 2 into minus 1 minus 2 plus 3 1. From here we will get value of A as 5 by 2. We got the value of A. Now let us give the second factor x minus 1 equal to 0. So x minus 1 equal to 0 means x equal to 1. Applying in LHS 2 into 1 minus 3 equal to where you see x minus 1 with A with C. So, both will become 0. So, B into comes 1 plus 1 into 2 into 1 2 plus 3. From this 2 into 1 2 minus 3. So, minus 1 equal to B into 2 comes here and the next one 3 plus 2 5. So, we will get value of B minus 1 divided by 10. We got A as 5 by 2, B minus 1 by 10. Now, let us finally find C. So, we will put 2x plus 3 equal to 0. 2x plus 3 equal to 0 means you will get x equal to minus 3 by 2. Now, let us substitute minus 3 by 2 in LHS. 2 into minus 3 by 2 minus 3 equal to wherever 2x plus 3 was a factor that part will become 0. So, it comes here with A, with B, only C is the remaining. C into x minus 1, minus 3 by 2, minus 1 into minus 3 by 2, plus 1. Means, this 2 and 2 will get cut. Minus 3, minus 3. So, you will get minus 6 equal to C into taking LCM 2 minus 3 minus 2 will become minus 5 by 2. Minus 5 by 2 then comes minus 3 plus 2. So, minus 1 by 2. So, here comes 2 into 2 4. 4 goes to opposite side becomes 24 and here 5. So, Value of C equal to 6 into 4, 24 divided by 5 and there will be a negative sign. So, we got values of A, B and C. Integral 2x minus 3 divided by x square minus 1 into 2x plus 3. 3 dx equal to integral of 5 by 2 divided by x plus 1 plus minus 1 by 10 divided by x minus 1 plus minus 24 divided by 5 divided by 2x plus 3 dx. This we will be splitting into 3 integrands equal to taking the constants outside 5 by 2 into integral 1 by x plus 1 dx minus 1 by 10 integral 1 by x minus 1 dx 
minus 24 divided by 5 into integral 2x plus 3 dx equal to 5 by 2 into this is log x plus 1 log x plus 1 minus 1 by 10 into logarithm of x minus 1 minus 24 by 5. Since the coefficient of x is not 1, it is 2. When you find logarithm, you have to divide it by 1 by 2. So, it is logarithm of 2x plus 3 divided by 2 plus c. This 2 and 24 get cancelled. You will get 5 by 2 logarithm of x plus 1 minus 1 by 10 logarithm of x minus 1 minus 12 divided by 5 into logarithm of 2x plus 3 plus c. The final answer. Again we will meet in the next session with the remaining forms of partial fractions. Till then bye. Thank you.